Good afternoon, friends. My name is Dr. Jay Goel. I am from Surya Eye Institute and Research Center. Today, on the uh, uh, occasion of of uh, World Sight Day, we are, we are going to talk about COVID and eye. Now, what exactly is a uh, World Sight Day? A uh, World Sight Day is celebrated on every second Thursday of uh, 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 October month. It basically is a global event to educate people and to make them uh, aware of the different causes of uh, uh, blindness and uh, treatments for the same. Now, 2.2 billion people in the world have some kind of visual impairment or are blind. Out of those, 1 billion people can be treated. Almost 2% of the entire population in India is blind. From that 1.1 uh, million people are blind because of uh, uh, certain diseases of the, uh, the eye. We require more than 1 million corneal transplants every year. And most people don't even know that they have an eye problem. They don't even know when is the right time to go for an eye check. Now, eyes are often called as a window to the world. They are, they are also called as a window to your soul. It is through the eyes that you see the world, through the eyes that you connect. It is through the eyes, almost 80% of whatever our brain remembers is because of our eyes. And eyes are which through we can experience a lot of uh, uh, things that make us uh, happy. Now, sight is a uh, and uh, experience like, okay, I have seen something, I remember that. That is the reason why protecting your eyes and your sight is very important and we should all know how to keep our eyes safe. Now, these days, uh, we are all amongst uh, uh, COVID and many patients ask us that Sir, are there any eye complications because of COVID? Can COVID come into our eyes or what can happen to our eyes uh, due to this? So just a brief, this uh, doctor in Wuhan was the original person who detected some kind of a SARS kind of a disease because of conjunctivitis. So he was seeing some patients where the patients initially had some eye problem. And when he isolated the virus, he found this is not a normal virus that is seen in the eye. This is a kind of a SARS. And on further uh, testing, he found this was a new type uh, uh, of coronavirus, which has not been reported yet. Now he was censured by China. He was not... Uh, allowed to uh, speak on his work due to which he uh, eventually got COVID from some, some of his patients and he died. So the few questions that all patients have is, does COVID affect the eye? How does it spread? What are the manifestations? Can it be treated? And what precautions should we take? Yes, COVID definitely affects the eye. Now, how does it spread in the eye? If a patient who already has COVID-19 has conjunctivitis, when he touches his eye, he can spread it to various surfaces that he surfaces and bring your eye close to your hands or your mouth, you can also get infected by it. Also, if somebody has COVID and he is sneezing, if the droplets enter the eye, the eye can act as the first entry point to get COVID uh, disease. Now, uh, this is a very new virus which nobody has exact specific information on. 
and over the past 8 10 months we have been seeing a lot of patients and we have been getting better insight into what exactly this is and now of late we have been seeing a lot of patients in our i department who have covid 19 and who are showing eye related issues also so let us start with the structure of the eye you, this is the eye on the on the left you can see the eye from the outside on the right you can see eye 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 on the inside now covid can affect the outermost layer that is the conjunctiva and the cornea and the innermost layer that is the retina of the eye okay so pink eye also called as aankh ana conjunctivitis is the most common involvement seen in the eyes because of covid it can also be the earliest feature of a covid infection it is seen in around 1% of patients who are already having covid but this can be easily treated with drops do not worry second a little more serious is the transparent layer of the eye can get inflammation can get these kind of white spots as you see on your right it can also get a a long term scarring because of covid in the eye this is also called as keratitis this also can be treated with drops but recovery usually takes time and it takes about one or two months for the patient to be fine now there is one more disease which has come out uh, due to covid which is also called as made m a d e that is mask associated dry eye all of us are wearing masks the mask is not tight over here because of that when we breathe out the hot air goes up from the mask towards our face this hot air goes into our eye and affects the stability of our tear film this causes irritation redness dryness pricking burning essentially it worsens dry eye so lot of patients are now coming out with this to us that they have all these symptoms because of wearing mask for a very long time now suppose a patient comes for a dry eye what do you do dry eye can be treated very easily but we need to understand what exactly it is so there is something called as a sharma test as you can see on your uh, right hand bottom there is something called as a t but tear break up time which is also used for dry eye on your left hand you can see something called as a mebo scale that is we check for the tear glands so now the treatment of dry eye has become very scientific and we can find out why a patient has dry eye this can also be treated very easily with either drops or low strength steroids i'm sure a lot of you people are already using some kind of lubricating drops for dry eye we also now have newer modalities of treatment called as light modulation it is called as a uh, lipid a uh, lipi flow it is also called as a uh, uh, integrated regul regulated pulse light also called as an irpl there are many modes through which dry eye can be treated now now there is one case that we i wanted to share share with, with you all about two months back a 52 year old young male had come to us with complaint of diminution of vision in the right eye since 3 to 4 days when we asked him about a brief history he said he had got covid 19 about 10 days back was put in a quarantine center for the same but within 7 days he was discharged because he had no symptoms and till yesterday night he was absolutely fine Three days ago, suddenly, when he woke up in the morning, his vision in the uh, left eye had decreased a lot. So, his eyes were normal from the uh, outside; everything looked normal. But when we did a retina test for him, as you can see on your right hand side, he had a blocked vein in the eye. That is, 
there was a bleeding in the retina because of the covid infection that he had when we look at the scan of the right eye on the right side right eye on the left side and the left eye on the right side you can see that there is massive swelling in the left eye you see the right side is completely green that the normal macular thickness should be around 264 this is almost 848 that is more than three and a half times but even such major complications can be treated very easily this patient was given a injection inside his eye to reduce the swelling within a month his left eye vision was almost back to normal and the patient had recovered 99 uh the patient had recovered almost fully this unique and rare case was india's was the world's first reported case of a vein blockage due to covid-19 and this was uh internationally recognized and put up in various in the acclaim journals this was also covered in leading uh uh newspapers now how do you protect your eyes so not only your eyes but your entire face that is your nose your mouth as well as your hands have to be protected so you do not get the corona virus so like everybody knows hand washing is a very 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 important step please stay at home whenever you can if you go out maintain a 6 feet distance from others as much as you can those who are uh, wearing lenses it would be recommended to wear specs because that is when the droplets do not go into the eye into the eye directly you can probably buy a stock of any drops or anything that you are using on a regular basis to make sure that to make to make sure to make sure that you are not uh going out again and again to buy them also it is a good idea to avoid rubbing your eyes when you rub your eyes the virus from your hand can go into your eye and it may cause a, a problem so it is a good idea not to rub your eyes keep your nails short because a lot of dirt comes into our nails and then when we eat with that or when we uh, rub our eyes that can go into our our eye also uh, frequently disinfect or clean the specs or the face mask or the shield that uh, you will be wearing do not share any products with anybody else especially during these times like a, a mascara or a, a makeup or an uh, eye brush or something of that that sort uh you can wash your eyes two three times a day you have to reduce your screen time and you have to take frequent breaks between work so i know a lot of people are working from home now whenever you are working on the pc after one hour take a 5 minutes break also be conscious and try to blink as much as you can so covid 19 can definitely spread uh, through the eyes the eyes can be involved in multiple ways it is our duty to take adequate precautions and please consult your local eye doctor in case you have any eye related issues because that can be a precursor to a larger covid problem in you one more topic that i would like to talk on is eye strain most of us during the lockdown have binged watch tv we have used our phones we have been uh, watching uh streaming we have been working from home we are on the laptop pc phone the whole day 
this has caused a huge amount of eye strain and lot of patients are coming to us with complaints of discomfort ki sir aankh hame open karne ko nahi hoti hai hame blurness hota hai hum jab bhi when we walk when we walk for a long time our eyes become red we are not able to concentrate on our work we have dry eye this is typically eye strain now how, what are the symptoms that people have they can have blurred vision they can have watering they can have redness they can have difficulty in focusing they can have irritation stickness or uh, irritation stinging some people also get headache or they feel dizzy also now uh, like i told you a lot of smartphone tv work from home laptop streaming is a major cause for all of this okay so what can you do to prevent this in your eye it ideally you should avoid using a small screen of phone for a very long time a laptop or a decent sized tab is always a good idea try to keep the screen at the lowest brightness setting of what you want to avoid eye strain keep the device at least at an arm's length that is around 20 25 cm away from you follow the 20 20 rule that is is after 20 minutes of work take a 20 second break or you can also take a 2 to 3 minute break after every 1 hour of work whenever you are working at night avoid putting all the lights off there should be some ambient light in the room when you are working try to blink frequently try to sleep well and if you have any eye problems you should show your doctor immediately because that can be because of dry eye also most people do not understand the importance of a regular eye checkup we often know young people who have never got an eye test in their life ever and then they come to us with complaints that sir we have this trouble since many years and this problem could have been solved many years back if they only had taken the time to come to us for a checkup or if they knew that this is where a checkup is required so if any of you feel that you have any blurness of vision you have any redness irritation watering you have headaches you have any difficulty in seeing or if you are using a glass and you are not comfortable with that or if you think your screen time is more than 5 to 6 6 hours a day doing a checkup is a very good a uh, very good thing to do at least once in a year a comprehensive checkup would include various steps like a vision acuity test refraction a uh, slit lamp a uh, examination a uh, retina checkup screening for dry eye screening for cataract screening for glaucoma various various other things that is called a professional eye checkup which should be done once in a year okay and it is recommended that for children after the age of 3 till the age of 10 or 12 a checkup every 6 months should be done to understand whether they are having any potential lazy eye or uh, a uh, refractive error or anything of that sort i thank you all for hearing me out i wish all of you the best of eye health please take care of your eyes please remain safe during covid stay at home as much as you can and in case you have any eye problem show to your nearest eye doctor as soon as you can stay stay safe stay home thank you very much